burglary, rape, murder. As the crime rate rises, honest citizens are no longer safe, even in their own homes. When will it be your turn? And how will you protect yourself and your loved ones when violence comes calling? Hello, I'm G. Gordo Libby, head of Protective Services for Security City, the safest place on earth for you and your family to live. Just look at some of these security intense features. Security City is a perimeter controlled, privacy intensive compound of condominium units. Your protection starts with 24 hour security personnel in strategic observation posts and extends to individual reinforced privacy and peace of mind. Best of all, Security City is totally access restricted. Not even pesky door-to-door -door Bible salesmen will disturb your privacy behind our 30-foot electrified fences. Yes, it's Security City. Your safety and privacy are all that matters. Formerly known as Atlanta Federal Penitentiary, Security City is indeed the safest place on earth for you and your family to live. Condos start at 2,300,000. Call today for free brochure. Tired or dry, flyaway skin? Is the heartbreak of melanoma destroying your social life? Did your last date end in embarrassment when your nose fell into the soup? Try new Ozone 66 from SkinSafe. Ozone 66 contains D-gamma radiation emollients that protect you from those nasty UV rays. Ozone 66 sprays right on with this handy aerosol applicator. And who's going to worry about a few more silly fluorocarbons at this point? Ozone 66 forms a protective barrier that keeps facial tissue intact, no matter what the sun gets up to. Yes, Ozone 66 keeps your skin off. Good evening. I am Dr. Henry Kissinger. The ever-present fear of the nuclear destruction is an agony of the soul, yeah? Fed by the defense industry profits and fueled by mindless nationalistic posturing, it will never go away. The alternative is clear. Drop it now. Doctors agree that the potential pressure of potential obliteration is a disease in itself. They say, drop it now. The religious leaders agree that spontaneous vaporization may be the closest thing to enlightenment we can expect in this lifetime. They say, drop it now. The situation has gotten worse since the breakup of the Soviet Union, when a number of trigger fingers itchy or otherwise was limited to a few individuals. Now it's comfortable in the dozens. And while the collective arsenal has diminished, there's still enough to incinerate the planet. So, the question is, how long should we live in fear of the inevitable? Haven't you had enough? Write your legislative representative today and tell him you want an end to the legal death of the human race! And demand the immediate commencement of World War III. Tell him to drop it now. That's drop it now. P.O. Box 3297 Berlin. Remember, the IRS now requires that you submit a completed copy of Form 101666 every time you spend more than $10 in cash. Help the IRS help you. Use your credit card. Dick Projenko. Welcome to News Breach 2000. Here with the latest you'll know when I know. Join the team that makes the news, breaks the news, and takes the credit. Without you, we wouldn't be possible. 
Hi, I'm Dick Projenko, and here's what's on the news tonight. Rand Xerox, president of the Xerox Corporation, announced today that his company has acquired full ownership of the pioneer genetic engineering firm Genentech. Mr. Xerox said that the takeover was initiated after recent statements that newly developed gene splicing techniques would make Genentech, quote, the Xerox of bioengineering, unquote. He explained that Xerox has closely guarded its trademark, and besides, the company intended to remain in the forefront of the duplication industry no matter how widespread that field became. He further indicated that the two companies would be merged into a new bioreproduction firm called Genentox. As president of what promises to be the most revolutionary technocracy of the 2000s, Mr. Xerox said that Genentox security agents have already begun an investigation of black market access to replication technologies. Between the theft of our DNA-encoded SS identity cards and these technologies, Xerox Genentox stand to lose $57 billion in first quarter revenues. A few years ago, I worked a case involving uh, a Silver Star medal winner in Vietnam, a fellow that was born in Texas and raised in California, who for uh, many years uh, had been a citizen of the United States uh, since birth. Uh, in his particular case, he went to the beach one summer and lost his wallet, and the following year, there were 25 people using this person's name and number working everywhere from uh, the state of New Mexico clear up into uh, the state of Washington. Xerox officials went so far as to suggest that the black market replication technologies may be responsible for the record 10,000 plus sightings of Elvis Presley reported between 1977 and 1999 that no connection existed between Xerox, Genentech, or Genentox, and the recent rash of rapists impersonating Supreme Court justices. The Shinto Dow Stock Exchange today announced that Colombian poppy futures will henceforth be tradable in the commodities market, reportedly as a means of curbing widespread violence in the U.S. as Colombian drug cartels and Chinese triad gangs battle for control of the American heroin market. Colombia's emergence as a leader in global opium poppy cultivation began back in the early 1990s when the supply of Bolivian cocoa pasta was redirected to Taiwan for processing, forcing Colombia's drug lords to seek other merchandise for their extensive U.S. markets. Chinese triad gangs based in Hong Kong had formerly controlled the flow of heroin into the United States but had no widespread distribution system of their own relying on wholesale transactions with American Mafia, Masonic, and CIA retail salespeople, increased violence in American cities as Colombian and Chinese forces battled for market control has recently reached epidemic proportions, according to the U.S. Legislobby officials. And Shinto Dao's announcement is expected to lead to a more peaceful form of competition. Formerly the New York Stock Exchange, Shinto Dao was created when the U.S. Stock Exchange market was purchased by a consortium of Japanese businessmen in 1993. This is the Atomic Broadcasting Corporation. We will return to News Breach 2000 after this edutizing adfotainment. I'm Dick Brojenko. I know what you need. You need what I know. The Soviet Civil War escalated to nuclear stage today when Ukrainian forces launched a preemptive tactical strike against Lithuania, destroying most of the western area of the embattled Commonwealth, including Minsk, the seat of pro-Commonwealth forces. Fallout and other nuclear debris caused a military and civilian evacuation of all territory east to Moscow, forcing Commonwealth officials to establish a provisional seat in the ice-locked Siberian port of Archangel. Two other combatant states, Estonia and Georgia, have declared a temporary alliance to stockpile their nuclear stores for an assault on Latvia. The war, which broke out in 1992 when the former USSR member states attempted to form a commonwealth but couldn't agree on military or economic terms, has been building in intensity since Russian President Boris Yeltsin proclaimed himself, quote, czar of all Russias, unquote, early last year and vowed to fight until, quote, the rebels are brought to their knees, unquote. Western observers were astonished at the use of nuclear devices, having been convinced that the nuclear stockpiles of the former Soviet Defense Ministry had all been auctioned off to Libya, Algeria, Iraq, Iran, North Korea, and Argentina during the Macy's Red Flower Day in 1992. Quote, obviously, unquote, said U.S. State Department spokesperson Vanna White, quote, the Mongolians have been buying the missiles back and rearming all sides in the Civil War, unquote. Dick, you're a perfect role model for American youth. I do appreciate you.
The corporate entity known as Mr. Canada Inc. has won both the Democratic and Republican California presidential primaries, according to the Election Results Committee. Formed 35 years ago as a political research group called the Harris Poll, the corporation changed its name last year to Mr. Canada Inc. and filed suit in U.S. courts to appear on the ballot in the New Hampshire primaries, declaring itself to be of the correct age clearance and nationality as specified in the U.S. Constitution and therefore legally eligible as an individual to run for the presidency, Mr. Candidate Inc. has since scored remarkable victories in several primary elections. The voters know that they're frequently being lied to by politicians, but they're never exactly sure when. Knowing that a corporation will invariably lie all the time gives the voters a sense of security and confidence they haven't known before. Mr. Candidate Inc.'s phenomenal success in the elections has been attributed to growing dissatisfaction among American voters of the current choice of traditional human candidates. Time Warmer Books announced today that their $23 trillion takeover bid for the Federal Reserve Board has been approved by the Vatican Industrial Complex. The announcement further stated that sweeping reforms of America's economy will be put into effect immediately. Time Warmer, America's largest publishing house, is now in charge of publishing America's money. And as in other cases of corporations getting the government out of government, we'll be able to do it faster, cheaper, and better. Of course, from now on, currency will only be available by television subscription. Call now and have your SS Identic Card ready. Vaticorp sources have also indicated other changes, including pictures of popes printed on the money, as well as instructions on each denomination indicating the bill's penance purchasing power as a church donation. We will be right back with this news productainment after this edutaining info segvert. <laughs> 